B badge numbers, please. We don't have badge numbers. Okay, I need cards then. It's department policy to identify. Where's Vern? We've already identified ourselves. Who, here. No, you didn't. Okay, sir, so we did the sheriff's office. office. And that side Aguilar. Door. What do you guys want? We're here to talk to Rick and we see that somebody's... You're on private property right, right now. House. Hello, good people, and welcome back. Today's video is definitely a wild one, and it's coming to us from the channel Joseph Martinez. This video takes place in Merced, California, and then involves deputies Aguilar... Mobley and Lemons of the Merced County Sheriff's Office. So last night Joseph had reached out to me on one of my videos and asked that I share and break down his video. Now Joseph thinks he messed up in this video but in reality he did the best job he could have possibly done. These deputies show up on his property looking for someone that does not live there and let's just say things get ugly real fast. You guys need something? Oh, I don't answer questions. I'm a First Amendment auditor. You know me. You can stay off the property, though. This is private property. Let's get off the fence a little bit. Yeah, you guys know me. No, you can stay off the property, sir. This is private property. Name and badge number, please. Are you Rick? Name and badge number, Mobley. No, I'm... My name is Joseph, and I'm not going to identify any further than that. Your name is Mobley. Your name is Aguilar. Your name is T. Lemus? Lemons. Lemons. Okay, b badge numbers, please. We don't have badge numbers. Okay, I need cards then. It's department policy to identify. Where's Vern? We've already identified ourselves. Who, here. No, you didn't. Okay, sir, so we did the sheriff's office. office. And that side Aguilar. Just heads up. What do you guys want? We're here to talk to Rick, and we see that somebody's... You're on private property right now. I don't answer questions. I'm a First Amendment auditor. You guys know I'm not going to answer questions. Okay. The only question I answered was my name to alleviate any belief that I might be the person you're looking for. Further than that, you're trespassing currently on private property. I'm asking you repeatedly to leave, sir. Folks, if you ever have law enforcement come on or near your property, this is exactly how you should approach them. Firstly, he establishes at the property line and informs these deputies that they do not have permission to come on to his property. Secondly, he gets every single deputy to identify themselves. Lastly, and this will be the controversial one, he gives his first name to alleviate the assumption that he could be the person that they are looking for. At that point, to which he informs these deputies they are trespassing, anything the deputies do after this on the property can open the department up for a lawsuit. With that being said, I am not a lawyer and anything I say should not be taken as legal advice. But anyways, let's get back to the video and see what these tyrants end up doing. We're conducting an investigation. I don't care. That has nothing to do with me. S stop what you're doing, Mobley. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is file a, a, a complaint against each of you individuals if you try anything. Next thing I'm going to do is prove that you weren't acting in the legal capacity as an officer because you don't have a search warrant to be on this property. And that's going to allow me to remove your qualified immunity. The next thing I'm going to do after that is go after each and every one of your private assets. You're not going to violate me. It. Well, you keep stepping in, and I keep telling you you're on private property, and I keep asking you to back up, okay? I'm not going to go after your departments. I'm going after your private assets when I remove your qualified immunity. You're not going to violate me. All officers have qualified immunity. I'm a First Amendment auditor. That's in Colorado. That's in Colorado. That's in Colorado. Don't don't play silly duck games on me. That's Colorado. I don't answer questions. You know that. I'm telling you to get off my private property. So, right now, who's in, who's in the house? I don't, don't answer questions, questions you know that. Identify one investigator. It's irrelevant. I'm not, I'm not involved with your investigation, and I have no duty whatsoever to serve you in your investigation. I have no duty whatsoever to serve you in your in investigation. investigation. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Hindering is a physical act. No, oh, no, no. no. no window. Oh, yeah. Joseph did everything he could have possibly done aside from defending himself. These deputies turned tyrant real quick without any hesitation and they violated Joseph's rights. After many times informing them that they were trespassing, the deputies continued to creep on further until Joseph had no choice but to put himself in front of them, to which they responded by arresting him. The charges were 148A1, obstructing a peace officer, and we all know by the video, this was not obstruction. Deputy Aguilar decided to arrest Joseph because he didn't like being told that he could not come onto the property. 
These deputies did not provide a warrant, nor did they even state the address that they were responding to. They overstepped their boundaries, majorly, and need to face repercussions. Massive props to Joseph Martinez for standing his ground and exercising his rights to the best of his abilities. For that, I ask that you all head on over to his channel, subscribe, and let him know San Joaquin Jr. sent you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching.